The lung transplant program at Cedars sinai has been one of the fastest growing lung transplant programs in the US over the past three years. From baseline, initially we tripled the volume of lung transplants we were doing and now we've quadrupled it from that baseline. So lung transplant program at Cedars sinai is one of the oldest programs in the West Coast. It's been around since 1988. Over the last four years we have expanded our program. You know, we're doing over 60, 70 transplants a year and uh, we are uh, continuing to you know, expand on our volumes and indications for lung transplant. Over the past few years, we've improved our outcomes dramatically, both in terms of our quality of our program and our patient outcomes, as well as our volumes, and we've introduced new technologies. What we're best known for is our minimally invasive approach to lung transplant, and by that I mean that the incision that we use to do the lung transplant is very small. It's a two to three inch incision uh, between the ribs and we offer that to over half of our patients having lung transplants, which means that over the last three years we've done about 120 of these procedures. And we're actively doing research within this field to see where these types of techniques lead to in terms of better patient outcomes, if that's improved survival, improved primary graft dysfunction, or just improve quality of life, which is a very important aspect in lung transplantation. Here at Cedar sinai basically everybody is going to be a candidate for lung transplant unless we find a good reason for them not to be. I think this is very significant because it provides more opportunity for patients that have previously been deemed not to be candidates in other institutions here in Los Angeles or other centers in the country. You know, it also allows us to serve more disadvantaged communities of patients that cannot have a lung transplant for several different reasons that we are basically are willing uh, to take the challenge. So our research at Cedar sinai in the lung transplant program really focuses on two areas. Um, the first is the patient experience of the lung transplant, and we do link this very much to the minimally invasive approach. And on the other side, we also look at the patient access to lung transplant, so we try and broaden uh, the, the range of patients to which we offer the treatment. Our program at Cedar sinai we're a really large academic institution, but our approach to lung transplant is a more small community feel. We have a really close-knit uh, group of practitioners, and our team is really small and close-knit, which allows us to give that really community feel to each and every patient. I think it's really important that uh, when patients come to see us here, they're really going to get individualized uh, care and not going to be put through a large system. At Cedar sinai we really are able to offer a range of not just incision, but also the degree of support that we do for patients during the procedure, really tailor that to the individual patient. And then I'd have to say that our team approach is key to our overall outcomes. So we have a fantastic ICU, dedicated pharmacist, very expert physiotherapist, nutritionist, a social worker who is extremely active and dedicated. And all these individuals uh, work together to get the patients the best outcome. And I think that is a special feature of Cedar sinai The future of lung transplantation, I think, lies in both management of our donors as well as our recipients. One of the big topics in lung transplantation now is prolonged preservation of our donors and how do we utilize and maximize all the donors we're offered. So I think this is where the future lies to improve our patients' abilities to get transplants. And on the recipient side of things, what our program is doing is individualizing our approach, you know, in terms of how we perform the operation. So for the future, you know, we are continuing to expand in our utilization of, you know, minimally invasive surgical techniques and pushing the envelope on indications for lung transplantation so we can serve more uh, patients you know, in the community. It's a beautiful gift. Literally, somebody else's lungs are breathing. Every breath I take, you know, the only question is, am I aware of it? How often am I, am I conscious of that? And think about that, and I want to think about that all the time. We're excited to see where we can take these minimally invasive techniques. We've adopted a, now a robotic approach that is feasible for some patients, and we've seen others take up this technique uh, internationally. We hope that the more we're able to bring this to a national stage, the more adoption there will be and improvement in the quality of life of patients all around. 
I'm very excited about the future of lung transplantation at Cedar sinai especially robotic-assisted lung transplant and disseminating this technology across the USA and the rest of the world for the benefit of patients.